hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is bayanda and today i wanted to share with you guys my labor and delivery story oh my god it has been such a journey so my baby is one month old now so i'm one month postpartum and i have all the tea about labor firstly so i had a c-section the reason for my c-section was a planned c-section because baby was too big as you can see i have a very small frame oh i had a very small frame now i have a mom body so <laughs> yeah so i had a very small frame i am tiny and baby is not tiny so we had to have a c-section which i was okay with because I feel like I was okay with having a C-section because both my mom and my mother-in-law had C-sections so it's not something new to me so I was like okay it's okay it's okay it's okay I didn't make it a big deal I just accepted that I'm going to have a C-section because baby's health and my health are very important in avoiding having a scar <laughs> or having the natural birth experience it's okay it's okay so my expected due date was the 6th of Feb 2024 but because it was a c-section and baby was getting uh, like too big and there was not enough room for her to expand and do stuff so my doctor decided Ruti, I'm going to give birth on the 23rd of January I went to my doctor on the I think the 20th the weekend before like tuesday because the 20th, the 23rd was on tuesday so i went the weekend before it's in most tuesday i think i went on the 20th and we decided we'll say i know it's going to be tuesday so i signed all the documents from my doctor concerning to the c-section signing we'll see he did explain to me what's going to happen and i understood because you have to sign then afterwards i had to get an authorization number from my from my medical aid because i was i'm on medical aid i was not going to pay cash yeah so you need to get an authorization number meaning you are booking the hospital uh, yeah so i booked i was going to give birth in a Tegwini hospital yeah yeah so i got the authorization number from my medical aid and everything was sorted i got it on monday like everything was just quick now 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 yeah so i got it on monday and then um, my doctor said I should be at the hospital by 12 on Tuesday. Yeah, so Tuesday morning, Tuesday morning, I drank some water around 6 because I was not, I was allowed to eat before 6, but I just drank some water and I drank some juice just for energy. Then we packed everything, everything was already packed, we packed it in the car and we went. It was my partner and I and my sister and so we went to the hospital and ah, I was nervous but like not too nervous I was chilled so I was in between I'm like mm -hmm. I'm really doing this and I was excited to meet my baby but I was nervous yeah so we got to the hospital and my husband signed all my paperwork thank god for that man because shame i did not have the energy i was hungry i was hungry i mean I guys i eat all day every day i don't skip a meal so being told what i can't eat it's about i was only thinking about food and i was like oh my god i'm so hungry i'm sure i wasn't that hungry it was just that i was told not to eat and it was the only thing i could think about yeah so we got to the reception area we signed i had we signed all my documents and everything was cleared okay so when i got to my room it was a private room which i was so thankful for because i was so nervous i needed to be alone yeah we didn't book a private room because it was about i think it's two thousand per night or something to book a private room and really there was no need yeah so we didn't book a private room luckily we got one uh without booking then 
I had to change into my hospital gown and they had to insert a mud drip, a drip on my hand and then they checked babies, they, they, they put in the hands with me bandages to check babies, uh, heartbeat, and so they were checking baby while I was waiting for my daughters to finish because I was going to go to like the labor ward go around 2 p.m. yeah so I was just waiting for my doctor to finish with the other c-section he was doing yeah and then the nurses came and they said I should bath like I should wipe myself with surgical something got is to remove my gems yeah um the day before i like a sevlon my daughter was like i should buy the sevlon i just soak myself in sevlon um with my tub just to remove my germs yeah so after uh we finished with like the, the bathing and just waiting for my daughter we went to this other ward la corner it's like a waiting room to a theater yeah, so it's like you waiting room to theater. Like, you know, when they were showing me, they were showing me, they were showing me, they were showing me, they they gave me, they were showing 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 me, they Oh my god i'm going to write it on the screen i i forgot it i forgot the name but yeah that doctor that gives you like pain meds or i'm a man to make you drowsy and not feel anything he came to us and he introduced himself and told us that our doctor is going to finish now now introduced himself made a sign i think yeah he made a sign a few papers as well then i was chilling i was just like chilling we were talking we do have the whole time and then they came to us but was cool but the nurses who about the wing were very friendly then we went to theater oh my god it's just light a lot of light it's a huge room in my light in my light in my light that's the only thing i remember it's just lights and like space like a huge room i didn't see the whole room yeah, so then when you get them, first thing they you need to do, they transfer you to the bed that's, I was with like Saxon, like the bed that you'll be using during your operation. And then you have to sit up straight, like sit like this, and Okobe. So that's the osteologist, osteologist, osteologist. I, oh my God, guys, it's incredible. But yeah, the doctor now hello Ochova now. Also Ochova then he gave me this injection. And a bit painful. I mean I am not afraid of my injections because I think I've gotten so much injections. I'm like used to the pain. But that one it was a surprise because I think I was facing that way and I couldn't see what he now go get manage us so fuck um job. And I was holding the nurse's hand. I was squeezing that lady's hand. I was like, she hold my hand. I was breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. It's but someone please tell me. And Casimir Jova, just before like your operation, I'm gonna Jova because I honestly felt like they injected me like three to four times. I don't know if I'm the only one. I don't know if I was the Lulu or what. But it felt like it was a lot yeah so after this my daughter came um, no 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 after the injection my father demanded the shit to separate me from the the doctors and the nurses na 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 yeah so it was just this shit if I'm going to separate you and then they have to shave you I don't know why they're shaving us because man, I'm not getting uh, I'm not doing like a, a vaginal bed so why are you shaving my coochie 
anyways they shaved me on my toes that i should shave i did try to shave so i think it wasn't enough so which was fine because i couldn't feel anything i couldn't feel anything that thing works really fast to feel numb i was numb like all my legs were just numb god damn it felt like i had needles in my legs vibe on your legs yeah so i couldn't feel i could feel a more movement but i really couldn't feel much and then my doctor came like ah like oh my god thank god like you took forever <laughs> It took forever to come here. Now I'm surrounded by people I don't know. But okay, he came. Bakal. They started with the cutting. Uh, and I was just talking to him. I was just talking. I was just trying to distract myself. Because one thing I feared the most about Ile, about my operation, was like my mental health like psychologically i felt like i was going to panic i was going to have a panic attack even though i was not going to feel the pain but i was going to think oh my god they are cutting me and then i was going to have a panic attack or anxiety attack i want to shift then to panic panic then to panic so i was like okay to keep myself distracted let me speak to harvey because he was right next to me Yeah, he was right next to me, so I was speaking to him the whole time. I was like, after this, you need to take me out on a date. Where are we going? What are we eating? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And I can feel, I can feel my movements. I can, I could feel them, like, going this side, going this side. But you can't feel any pain. But you can feel the pressure. Yeah, so they will and i'm just like yeah 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 you it back and you it yeah and you my wings and in it because now i'm just like i don't want to think about it i don't want to think i don't want to think about what's happening right now i just need to escape ah <sighs> yeah so that worked and they were done they were so fast baby was out and my dogs were like ah look at your baby i told you she was so big and she was really big and dj i was like oh nice but now there's blood and everything's covered in like white white stuff and a bit of blood i'm like yeah why are you showing me her before you bought her but anyways i was so relieved to see she is fine she cried and oh my god my heart yeah, and then afterwards they took her, I think Mam Sula at first, and then they came and gave her to me while I was still laying there on the table like a chicken yaganandos. Yes. Mam Les, I'm like, oh, so cute, so cute. Oh my god, so give baby a kiss. I'm like, mm. And then Habi went with baby, Maham Bagane, Asada Gedwa. I was so cold. I was so cold, I was shivering. Oh my god, I was shivering so much from the injection they gave me. Guys, you know, oh my god, I feel horrible because now I can't remember the name of their injection. I can't remember the name. I just can't remember the name. But anyways, yeah, I was shivering. I was shivering, I was so cold. The just so it was almost sure there was a lunch. He was sitting right next to me, he was telling me, No, it's okay, it's fine. Bele yabo yeah, we are called dollar and stuff, you shiver, it's okay. And then they finished bang is a bang is a bang is a bang tung bang is Oh my god, why am I forgetting the most important name of that injection? Oh, uh, uh, let me go search anesthesia. Oh my god, halala, halala, halala. Guys, I have bigger ekam. Anyway, so yeah, where was I? Uh, I was very cold from the anesthesia they gave me, and gee. Anyway, so afterwards, I they tongued me up 
and bang she sent up one thing someone told me is that you can smell the burn when they are burning your skin and i was like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god but i didn't smell it thank god i did not smell it and yeah so during the the operation i didn't get any music because when I asked my doctor, I would say, can I please have some music? And I can I say clap in me? And I'm like, no, I need music for the vibe. Yeah, I didn't get music, which was okay because they were, they were, oh, shame. They were just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. So I was just listening to them. And then afterwards, I went to another waiting room. I don't know what to get for what this time. I think just to see how you react um yeah so i was there in the waiting room then after bangisa i gave to my room and i saw my baby they came back with my baby i saw my baby i was so happy to see her and then i needed to give her like a breast milk because my plan was to breastfeed so i was breastfeeding her and oh my god guys i struggled with breastfeeding <laughs> i struggled with breastfeeding um yeah but okay yeah and then my but they gave me tea i think yeah they gave me juice and tea and i'm like oh my god i'm eating already i thought i had to wait for some time but no and right after which was very nice so the first night with baby was not too bad i really don't remember it much because they usually took the baby to the nursery and just um gave uh, gave her to me whenever she's hungry to feed her then the second day now i had to go back yo guys what an experience taking the first step first walk after your c-section so the nurses came but they were bang bang on this and got an bathroom to shower and nice thing is that there's like a uh, a, a chair like a chair where you can sit and bath so taking a shower was not that difficult the difficult part was getting out of the shower oh my god what a painful experience i have never cried so much in my life you know guys your stitches they are if like a line of stitches they are not all painful go by painful only one part i've never cried so much in my life like poor owners were like baby girl you need to not give up you need to walk otherwise you'll conquer for the rest of your life so you better walk and i did and i did very grateful i did then after that day uh, i went to another ward and i was sharing with someone else so it was just the two of us yeah and the experience was still great um you know now the thing was the breastfeeding oh my god breastfeeding is a bit difficult especially for a first time the first time mom so it was very difficult i felt like my baby was not getting enough milk i just felt a lot of pressure i think I feel like it pressure and i was comparing myself to the other mom who was there she was feeding her baby formula and a bit of like breastfeeding she was mixed feeding she was feeding a baby formula and i was only breastfeeding you know like i want to breastfeed my baby and yo, yo 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 i think i was just comparing myself i felt pressure i felt i just had a meltdown you remember this one time i just cried i was like oh my god my baby's not eating well can you please give her some formula to nurses and they're like since what's wrong what is wrong why are you feeling like i'm like i feel like you're not getting enough food and they're like why why like look at your boobs look at your breasts they are so nice like oh yeah i think i had a bit of 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 a 
that day and then they're like it's normal it's normal to feel miserable it's normal to feel like oh what is happening and they gave me some pills for with breastfeeding it also helps with your emotions so yeah they gave me some pills and they took baby for the night they're like you need to relax you need to calm down stop googling stuff like just calm down and stop putting so much pressure on yourself you have the perfect boobs your baby is getting enough milk that she needs to relax yeah then i try to get to relax that pills helps oh my god because i'm like drugs i said that i'm a pills but i was the happiest of that i didn't even feel an ounce of like negative emotions yeah i think so it's just the milk i mean about to when the milk is coming in your, your mood now your ear what to have some man yeah one is a low i cried so much yeah but anyways my my siblings came to visit the baby to see the baby but they didn't see the baby because they didn't allow them to see the baby which was horrible um whenever visitors were coming in they they took the babies to the nursery because if i had summer gems and stuff so yeah they didn't get to see the baby they saw her through it only wind up in the salary yeah my, my mother-in-law came as well coco coco came and she got to to hold the baby and oh my god happy was with me 24 hours he was there from 8 till 10 p.m which was amazing i didn't feel alone because any the with giving bed what I experienced with giving birth while I was still in the hospital is that I felt alone. I felt like an I was recently island. I felt like everyone's life is moving on and mine is just stuck. Like I felt like oh my god, even though happy was there, I had guys the moment I need but um they're very supportive, like very supportive, but I just felt alone. Even though I was not alone, I just felt alone. I felt like an island. And you know, is that I needed to accept to be it's not just my baby. Like, that's the thing. I'm very possessive. And I'm like, my baby, no, she's not just my baby. She has a dad who's very much present. She has grandparents who are present. She's a granddaughter. She's a niece. Oh, yeah, but who is in this ning? Yeah, but oh, cousin Kasbani. Like, she's not just my aunt's daughter. Ah, you know, I'm getting so I had to accept so good. We're going to share her, Sizom Shara, which is something that I was. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but that's why I just felt alone. I just felt like everyone is just moving on with life. It was the hormones the hormones speaking but i had a very positive experience and i'm very grateful for that i am very grateful for everyone who assisted me on this my doctor oh my god that guy 10 out of 10 i'm a gymnastics to me 10 out of 10 he is the best gynecologist of a gy and guys i still have a pregnancy brain like i can't really speak properly and i can't remember i'm a gum yeah but yeah. yeah now recovery one month after my six section ah I, what i can say is that it's not easy it's not easy even though i have a very high pain tolerance but some days in jesus okay now i am not really okay like look and then my bag oh my god guys i'm pressing colo i want to have a joke on so yeah boy i'm going to give you a colo with a bow i'm going to pass my colo i'm going to have 24 seconds pass my colo guys because of that injection but yeah i'm trying and i have i have an auntie who is helping me so i'm just focusing on my baby during the day i'm just focusing on my baby and not worrying about cleaning and stuff which is very 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 nice which is, yeah, i just get to focus on my baby and recover oh my god my little pumpkin is growing so much yo she is growing 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 also in zara also in zara 
he's very big <laughs> very heavy yeah that's one thing and you could say delay a professor of healing because baby is heavy she's so heavy but i love her so much i miss her whenever i led even too little i'm just like oh wake up so i can cuddle you nearly say yeah shame i really love my baby and she just fits like we are fit at the fit in my life i'm very grateful to god for blessing me with such an amazing angel oh mind you she's starting to smile you 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 now i get why like kids are spoiled because when i smile because she has the cutest smile in the world you are the only person in shagging or corona it's just the two of you and she will look at you oh she stays my baby stays as well like oh my god so precious yeah yeah guys this was my c-section story i had such a very positive experience and i wish that for everyone oh c-section most of our c-sections are not planned so we emergency you to be prepared but it's okay it's okay even if you planned it it's okay even if you didn't plan it all you want is a healthy baby and a healthy mommy as if you healthy see alive and well yeah so i hope you see the video did help someone or coming on my names about c-section or j who is thinking of trying this is uh, like having a c-section i hope it's really helped please guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching